Hey guys, welcome back. So I'm just getting ready for our next fishing trip and getting my jigs sorted. I thought I'd put together a little video of how I set up my jigs. And first of all, you're gonna need a jig. Got the circus prawn here. Put some details on that in the description. That's a 150 gram jig. For this um, rig setup, works with all the jigs. Definitely need split ring pliers. Need your fluorocarbon leader line. And I'll let it, you choose what you want to use. I'll use 40 pound a lot, but it depends on the fish. Depends how the depth. Some assist hooks. And you gonna need solid rings and split rings. So I'll rig it up, show you how I do it. So we've got a jig, I wanna attach our assist hooks to each end of that. So I'm gonna use these split rings and these flies. Just put them on the end of there, take them in. The more you use split ring pliers, the easier they get and you become a lot quicker using them than retying knots. So I like to keep them even. I don't like using the, the stuff with all the sparkle and glitter and feathers and all that on. So I personally think it affects the way the jig works. And it's all up to personal preference. And sometimes, depending on the jig and the length of the assist hooks, these will get caught up like that so sometimes you might want to go to a double or if you're in reefy ground you might so you want to go to a single if you're in reefy ground you might want less hooks you might even take the top ones off and just run the back ones for the purpose of the video so we've just got these two on there so that is the jig set up in a couple of seconds like that so usually i'll have them ready on the boat in my tackle bag ready to go so we're on to the next step a solid ring straight to the leader line like that and then we're going to put a another split ring on him like so and the front of the jig so there and attach it there I'm not going to attach it to the other sp split ring, I'm going to leave them separate. The reason why I do that, even though that looks like a lot of bling, is that if that split ring's on there and I'm fighting the fish from there and it's getting pulled in both directions, it's not going to be as strong. We're there, we're attached straight to the jig and the fish is straight, straight to the jig as well. Now, the beauty of doing it this way, and I don't use a swivel, because I think that affects the way it does, but it's all personal preference. I have used them, have caught fish, but I've gone away from that. From going straight to the solid, to the split ring, if I feel like I need to change jigs, we change depth, or the fish just aren't hitting it, or I feel like I wanna mix it up, I only have to use my split ring pliers, and I attach it there, and I attach a new one straight on. Also, you could be uh, trawling, or you're going trawling and you want to use the same rod set up you just unattach it there put your lure on then you decide you want to go jigging again it's just a matter of clipping you can keep your leader line as long as you got it you don't have to keep cutting it short every single time so what i do is i got um i use an fg knot from my braid to my leader and i go about a meter and a half like a rod length and then i go straight to you. The reason I use the FG knot, it just slides through the eyelets a lot better and it's a nice strong knot. And yeah, I use a metre and a half and that gives you a nice clear line, a nice strong abrasive brace, brace reduction line. So anyway, that's how we've rigged up the Circus Prawn. I use it for all, all my lures. This is a brand new lure and this is actually named the Bunyip this colour because these are my favourite colours for the jigs at the moment. Pink, silver, flash, bit of yellowy gold in there so Liam's lures he's um, hooked us up with his own design of this prawn here 
pretty awesome looking jigs. It's designed to go down and act like a bit of a prawn, but you know, similar to other jigs, but different in its own. Anyway, so I'll put links to Liam's Lures website so you can buy these if you're interested. We'll be um, smashing these, and oh, I've got a good feeling about these these lures. They're a perfect size. They come in a good range of different colours. Got a few here. Got this one, and then we got these ones here, and silver, which is always a favourite, silver and white. So I so said I'll chuck it in the description there. I'll put uh, Liam's website address if you want to go check out his. Good range of lures there and get your own unique looking lure so guys i hope this video helped you out and if you need to know anything else uh leave us a comment i'll get back to you um if it did help you out give us a thumbs up get any other suggestions chuck them down there this is where i'm at at the moment and this is really working well for me if you watch me previous videos you'll see that we do pretty well with the jigs and we're about to go give these a crack in the next few days so something should be up so if you subscribe to the channel, you'll see um, see how we go. So thanks for watching, and we'll see you when the lines are tight. Cheers.